I remember the first time I saw a spork. I was like seven years old and I was sitting in the cafeteria and suddenly there was this new thing. I couldn't believe it. I said, wow, the progress of the world. Look at the fork and the spoon together. That's so cool. Man, I was happy for about four minutes. I thought finally the world's moving along. The world's moving along. There's progress in the world. Finally, I do not have to put down my fork to pick up the spoon. If I'm eating my carrots, I have to stick them like this. And then if I'm eating my pudding, I need the spoon. So I have to put one down. I have to pick the other up. And now no more. Wow! That's so cool! And I also found there was another thing I could do with it. When you used to have a spoon to start a food fight, you'd put the tater tot the end of there and you'd go, or you'd load the tater tot with some mashed potatoes on it or whatever, some sloppy joe stuff. And you'd go, you'd bend it and go, <laughs> But the spork, the spork had grip. And it would grip, you could do a pin, you could put back further like this. You'd start like this because it would go around. The little fork thing you would grip and go, Rah! so it much farther. So you could start an anonymous food fight all the way across the cafeteria because you could get that tater tot loaded with mayonnaise or whatever just to go splat right into somebody's face from all the way over there and they wouldn't even know it you could just go maybe just pretend you were talking eating food stuff with your spork man but you know what they need to do to first to perfect the spork. One side of it needs to be serrated like those knives, the little plastic yes. knives. So then you don't have to do it. You just got one thing to eat all your different food in the cafeteria. They stopped. Progress kind of stopped. There has not been an advancement in spork technology <laughs> since I was seven years old. No advancements in spork technology. I have to take over the spork manufacturing. Me, I'm going to have to do it. You want to see any advancements in spork technology. But you know, then when you start the food fight with it, it might curve a little bit. It might get the curveball. I don't know. So anyway... Just some, some thoughts on the spork today. Just thinking about the spork just today. So anyway, um, I was thinking how I never should pray to God because I think I might mess him up because he'll be listening to everyone else's prayers and then he'll hear my, he'll, he'll my like if I'm praying about that there should be some advancements in sport technology. He'll be like, man, I've never heard that before. He'll be distracted. And then he'll forget about the gravity on the Earth, and then we'll all suddenly go out into space. Suddenly, we won't even know what happened. Just like, and then we'll look around just for a couple seconds, and then just be frozen. And that's it. Darkness in space. Because everything would just come off the earth if the gravity dropped. Because we're hurtling through space. Kind of like God had a giant spork. <laughs> and he went like this around the sun, like to start us going around the gravity, the, 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 the rotation <laughs> around in the universe. Like, <laughs> got it going around going around in space. 
So that's what we're doing now. So if the gravity turned out, all the water and everything would just come off into space, like a big trail. You know? You guys know what I'm talking about, don't you? Come on! That's some dark stuff. <laughs> dark. Sports could never be dark. Never. So I bought a 3D printer. I did. And then I used the 3D printer to print out an even better 3D printer. Then I took the original 3D printer back to the store and got my money back. <laughs> and that's how you stick it to the man. <laughs> But then the next day I went to my job at the 3D printer factory, found that I had been laid off. Evidently too many people are taking their 3D printers back to the store. And that's how the man sticks it to you. So I got revenge on the man. I went home and I printed up three million plastic machine guns and started a revolution! And I want you all to join me, quick, back to my place. We start shooting at midnight. You ready? Are you gonna join me? Come on, let's hear it! Yeah! yeah. Uh, this has been the revolution started by me. Starts here by Mark Selzer. You're welcome. <laughs>